for another beautiful day on the Salt River. Horses are amazing creatures. What better way to make people love and understand wild horses than to take them right into their lives as closely as we possibly can. In 1971, when the Wild Horse and Burrow Protection Act was passed, it was mandated that both the Forest Service and the BLM assigned wild horses their territories and their herd areas in the areas where they existed at that time, and they did not do so. Therefore now, these wild horses that aren't harming anybody are left without a territory, and the Forest Service can pretty much do whatever they want at any point in time. They are a, a, a yeah. feral species as far as horses. They're not a protected species, they're not a season on them by game and fish, so we don't give any, any resources to them. They were here long before our ancestors were even here, long before Arizona was even a state, and certainly long before the National Forest Service was established here. Of course there were wild horses on the river in 1971. I'm an eyewitness. I was tubing down the river many times. There's no doubt about the fact that the horses were there because I saw them. So we're asking the Forest Service give them their rightful territory. Give them a wild horse preserve where people from all over the area can come and admire wild horses in their natural habitat. It is not just our Salt River wild horses that are in peril. It is wild horse herds all over the country. Our government is now warehousing over 50,000 wild horses and burros in holding facilities, while we could have less than 25,000 left in the wild. There is no current unbiased count available of how many we truly have left in the wild today. They're not lands up for sale to the highest bidder. They're not called lands for profit. They're called public lands. These are our public lands. They need to take into consideration what our public thinks. It's really neat. They feed like moose underwater, and it's really neat watching the mares uh, teach the foals how to do that, and I'm sure glad that they're here. And they're here almost every single Saturday, and we see usually two or three sightings of them. You really enjoy them? Coming from Michigan, you don't see that very often, you know, so. Coming to Arizona, that's kind of one of the things that kept me here. I came all the way from Malibu, where I live, uh, to photograph them. Horses are out there in the wild, just like skunks or raccoons or anything. That's like saying round, you know, round up all the wild animals. The horses have given our documentary makers a window into their existence allowing them to witness what it means to be wild and free. Everything from communication and migration patterns to feeding habits, playfulness, and even the miracle of birth. All right, she's falling right now. And everyone, everyone knows what's going on. Everyone. Everyone is staring. Down.